everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm teaching you how to download and install Pixelmon Generations yes today is the day I'm showing you every step of getting Pixelmon Generations downloaded and installed now first and foremost I do want to mention that this is Pixelmon Generations there are other versions of Pixelmon out there so make sure this is the one that you want there are a bunch of different versions out there, and honestly, this isn't a video about all the little differences. Overall, they're similar and based on the original Pixelmon mod, but they've changed over time as they went in kind of separate paths. We've got other Pixelmon videos coming, but today we're going to be getting the Pixelmon Generations mod. I'm going to be going over every single step of it. However, before we jump on into it, we do have much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible 24-hour Pixelmon Generation server set up in just one click. And guess what? When you install Pixelmon, Pixelmon Generations using this tutorial you'll be able to play with it on any Apex Pixelmon Generation server as well right so this video will work with your Apex server right out the box which is great Apex is the easiest way to set up a Pixelmon server we actually love Apex so much that we host our own server playdownbreakdowncraft.com on them so host your Pixelmon Generation server on Apex Minecraft hosting using the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex nevertheless let's go ahead and get Pixelmon Generation so the first thing you want to do is obviously download Pixelmon to do that you're gonna have to go to the second link down below and that's gonna take you here this is the official Pixelmon Generations download page. Once you're here, come down to where it says download Pixelmon Generations mod. Come under this first version here, right up here at the top, and then click on that download button to the right. That will then take us off to Mediafire, where we can go ahead and click on the green download button here, and the download will begin automatically. If you do get a pop-up, just close out of it, no big deal. Now the download will start in the bottom left, and as long as it says Pixelmon Generations, it is safe to keep the file. It's going to ask us if we want to keep the file here in a second. However, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop up in the center of your screen. You'll need to save the file, and again, it's 100% safe to save, as long as it says Pixelmon Generations in the title. As you can see here, R6 Pixelmon Generation. Awesome, we can go ahead and click Keep here, meaning we can save the file, we're good to go. Now we aren't done downloading just yet, we still need to download Forge. Now, if you go to the description down below, the third link down below, we'll take you here, and this is our in-depth Forge tutorial, but I'll be showing you how to ever do everything in this video because it's a bit different than what this tutorial will teach you, specifically the one at the top. The text tutorial will work, however, we wanna make sure we're downloading the 1.12.2 version of Forge, and I will show you how to do that. But once you're here, click on this green Download Forge button. That will take us off to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure Minecraft 1.12.2 is selected. I can almost guarantee it isn't, but you want to make sure MC 1.12.2 is here. If it's not, come over here to the left-hand side, click on the plus 1.12, and then click on 1.12.2. That will then make MC 1.12.2 appear here, and when it does, come under Download Recommended here and click on the Installer button. My internet's being a bit slow tonight, but that'll look, there we go, that's how the Installer button will look. It'll have like this little box. Click on that Installer button. When you click on that, it'll go ahead and take us off to Add Focus, where we wanna wait six seconds. Don't click anything, your download's not ready. Don't click any other buttons on this page other than the red skip button in the top right. Do not click a single download button on this page. Just click that red skip button in the top right. When you click on that red skip button on Google Chrome in the bottom left, you will have Forge appear on Mozilla Firefox. It'll pop in the center of your screen and it will say Forge in the title. As long as it has Forge in the title on Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome, you can keep it in the bottom left or save it in the center of your screen. If it doesn't have Forge, just click discard, get rid of it, you don't want it, and then click that red skip button in the top right. Again, all you want to do here is click the red skip button and then keep or save the file as long as it says Forge. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have Pixelmon Generations and we have Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, go ahead and click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but just click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. That's going to open up the Windows Explorer page right here. We then want to go ahead and type in Downloads, right like so, or the Start menu, sorry, Downloads, right like so. And then have this Downloads, File Folder in Windows, click on that, and then in here you'll find Pixelmon Generation and Forge. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Now to get started, we're actually going to start off with Forge. So go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. It will then open up the mod system installer for Forge here. We want to go ahead and click on install client and click OK. And then the installation will begin from Forge 1.12.2, right? So it's going to download, it's going to do all that stuff, and it's going to say successfully install client profile Forge for version 1.12.2. Awesome. That's what we want to see. So go ahead and click OK there. Now, if that doesn't work, what do you do? Well, you need to download Java, right? So come here to the description down below, and you'll find this. This is our in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing Java for Minecraft mods. Pixelmon being a Minecraft mod, you need this version of Java. This walks you through it in this quick and simple three-step process, and we have this video up here at the top. However, if you go through that and these files look weird, they don't look like jar files, or you know, you still don't have open with 
Java here, you need to run the jar fix. And that can be found in the description down below as well. So go down there, go run the jar fix. Another quick and simple three-step process. And then you'll be able to right click on Forge again, click on Open With, click on Java, click OK, and then click on that OK button there. So there we have it. That's how you can do that. Now let's get Pixelmon Generations installed. To do this, we again want to visit our little friend up here in the top left, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Click on that, and then this time, we don't want to search downloads, we want to search run. Are you in? Right like so. You'll then have this run app here. Click on that, and it will open up this little dialog box here, where in this text box, you want to type percent, app data, percent. Percent sign, app data, percent sign, and hit enter. I said enter so weird there, I froze the video basically, so that's why there was a jump cut. Sorry about that. I'm sorry I said enter so weird. I meant to say enter. And I said enter, and it just it, it didn't it didn't make any sense. So I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I wanted to point it out. But once you're here on the roaming folder, once you've hit enter and you're here on the roaming folder, go ahead and click on dot Minecraft, and then you'll have this mods folder here. Now, if you don't have a mods folder, right? Like I don't have a mods folder now, what do you do? Well, no worries, just right click, create a new folder, and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Once you've got a mods folder here, go ahead and open up that mods folder. And I will say if you have any other mods in here, go ahead and make a folder for whatever version those mods are for, such as 1.12.2, right? And drag those in there. Otherwise, Pixelmon won't work, so you want to make sure that you get any mods that are in here out of this mods folder. Once you've done that, you can take the Pixelmon Generations mod and drag it on into the mods folder, right like so. Boom, there we go. Look at that, I'm importing so much footage. But anyway, drag and drop that there, boom. And now Pixelmon is in the mods folder. However, we're not done just yet. It's not as simple as opening up Minecraft. We want to open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you smack that play button, we need to make sure we've got the correct profile selected. To do that, click the little drop down arrow here on the left hand side of the screen, like right next to the play button, or to the left of the play button. Click on that, and then you'll have this Forge profile. It should say 1.12.2 under it, as you can see, 1.12.2. If it doesn't, though, that's okay. If it does, click on it and click play. But if it doesn't, what you want to do is come up here to the top and click on installations. Once you've clicked on that, you want to go ahead and click the plus new button. See that plus new button there? Click on that and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why well, am I naming that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. It's got 1.8 factions. It's got grief protected survival, medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy and aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy and just an incredible community over there. And then we do have custom skyblock as well with OP enchantments, 1.8 PVP. It is absolutely amazing. Custom islands. You'll love it. So come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. Then once you've entered in the name there, you want to click on this version drop down box. Now you're going to have to probably scroll down for a while. We are looking for 1.12.2 forge and this could be all the way down in the 1.12.2 section. So Get prepared for that. But anyway, we're going to scroll until we find Forge 1.12.2. And uh, it might be at the very, very bottom as well, by the way. So just look through here until you find Forge 1.12.2. And then once we find it, we will be able to click on that. So give me one quick second. I'm just going to jump cut this. There it is. It's randomly in here in these snapshot releases, like in the 1.16 snapshots for some reason. So anyway, there's Forge 1.12.2. Click on Release 1.12.2 dash Forge, right like that. Then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't need to do that. And we can go ahead and click Create in the bottom right. Now we have this new profile, play.breakdowncraft.com or any what or anything you wanted to name it, like Pixelmon or whatever. Then you can go ahead and move over and click on this green play button on the right hand side. That will then open up Minecraft 1.12.2 with Pixelmon Generations installed. I will jump quickly into a single player world with uh, Creative and just show you that everything is there, but it's a lot, right? So I'm not going to go through this entire mod here. This is just showing you how to get it. There are other videos that will show you how to play Pixelmon and all of that stuff. You did see Pixelmon was listed right there. That's proof that it is working, but I'm going to do a quick jump cut until we're on the main menu, and I will see you to show you everything is up and working. All right, here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can click on this mods button here and scroll down, and we'll, we'll see Pixelmon over there. You can also see that Bombs of Plenty was installed. Pixelmon actually does that automatically, so that's perfectly normal that that is there, but any other mods you see here were added by Pixelmon, but as you can see, Pixelmon is installed there. Now, if we click on single player, I'm going to create a new world, title it Pixelmon, to take full advantage of that Biomes of Plenty. You might not have this, but if you do, go ahead and click on More World Options, and then click over until you see Biomes of Plenty, right like so. Now, if you don't see Biomes of Plenty, no worries, just continue on without it, but that is something that you want to do if Biomes of Plenty was listed on the Mods tab there. And then go ahead and click on this Create New button. When you do that, it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft with Pixelmon installed, up and running, and it will be absolutely incredible. So again, I'm just going to do a quick jump cut, because that's easier, and I will see you once we're in-game. And I don't think there's any denying that Pixelmon is working, but as you can see, thank you for installing this mod. Now to choose your starter to begin, there's all sorts of different ones here. I don't know enough about Pokemon, to be honest, so we're going we're gonna to choose Charmander. We can see it over here on the left-hand side. We are in creative, though. 
So we can come in here and we can see all the different Pokeballs, all the different restoration stuff, all the different natural stuff that, you know, just found in game, all the different held items that you have. I mean, it is all listed here. There's tons of this. Everything here is Pixelmon, except this tab, which is Biomes of Plenty. But everything here is Pixelmon, even all the different badges. This is a great mod, absolutely incredible Minecraft mod. Oh, look at this. We've already got ourselves a, a Pokemon here. That's really cool. But nevertheless, we've got so much stuff. This is a very in-depth mod, a very, very fun mod. Enjoy it. It really does make Minecraft completely new because not only are the cool building and awesome elements like that in Minecraft and the exploring and all that, but now you have stuff to find when you're exploring. Like, I mean, there's so many Pokemon around here and you can find the Pokemon. It's great. So check out Pixelmon if you haven't already. This is an incredible mod, but now you know how to download and install it in Minecraft. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Pixelmon is currently only updated to 1.12.2. Don't know if it'll ever be updated more than that, but do you really care because this is just so cool. But anyway, my name is Nick. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. You will absolutely love Breakdown Craft, so come check it out. But my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.